Huh. Awful, awful, awful. I mean, sorry for not doing a live stream two days in a row now. I, uh, we're, we're, I guess we're moving and we're getting all the stuff in the house. And I was just finished mounting two TVs up. So, didn't have, uh, <clears throat> I couldn't time and I still have to go back and do a little bit of work. But I wanted to get this recap in so that, um, you, you know, you knew what was going on if you didn't already. The Yankees lost 8-7. They lost the series two games to one to the Baltimore Orioles. who are 50 games under 500. These, they should not be losing series like this. And this is what worries me about, no matter if they have a 13-game winning streak, getting getting cold at the wrong time or just losing to teams they shouldn't be losing to. And, you know, they, they're knocking themselves out of the wild card race. They had a firm grip. Now, you know, they were half a game about Boston with the loss. It's just, you know, they're losing their grip on the wild card. And uh, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. But uh, let's go to the stats. I mean, Corey Kluber started. He went three and two-thirds, four hits, two runs, five strikeouts, and three walks. So he wasn't great, but, you know, and he didn't get through the fourth inning. So, um, unfortunately, when Joely came in through two-thirds, uh, clean ball, had a strikeout. Joely Rodriguez and Albert Abreu came one and two-thirds. He got hit a little bit, two hits, two runs, uh, walk. Uh, no, excuse me, a strikeout, no walks. And then, the, and then the show came, Andrew Heaney. At this point, the Yankees were up seven to five. Um, <laughs> and Heaney came in, and uh, no, seven to four, excuse me. One third of an inning, four hits, four earned runs, and no strikeouts. I, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the Yankees ship him to Bolivia or something like that. So <laughs> he was awful, and he got booed out of the town. So I, if, I don't know what to say about him. But Wandy Peralta came in after that, two thirds, gave up a hit, but he got out of it. Um, and Chad Green, two innings pitched, and at the end there were three strikeouts. So that was the pitching side of the game. You know, uh, the box score itself, let's see here. Austin Hayes did homer you know, off Cooper to put him up one nothing, And then Gary Sanchez hit that nice laser beam grand slam in the in the bottom of the second, to the second deck, to put the Yankees up 4-1. to one. So at that point, I was feeling pretty good. But when Jorge Mateo came back, it was a sack fly that he hit, and uh, Ramon Urias scored, so that made it 4-2. Rizzo, uh, RBI single in the bottom of the fifth to make it 5-2. And at that point, I was feeling pretty good also. In the top of the sixth came Cedric Mullins hit a home. And this kid's a, he's a stud. This kid's a stud. It was a two-run shot, so it's 5-4 now. And then uh, Sanchez came up with another. It was the Gary Sanchez show on the Yankee side today. His second home run, two-run bomb to put them off 7-4. And then the Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey Circus, came in. Jamal Jones hit a uh, double. Let's see, a two, uh, yeah, two run double to put him up, uh, put him seven to six. And then RBI single for Mateo was like a bloops hit to put him up seven, to tie it at seven. And then another RBI single by Kevin Gutierrez to put the Orioles up eight seven, and that's where it remained. <sighs> and, and you know the bats, well, not all the bats, but the Yankees had enough offense. They scored seven runs. It's the bullpen that, well, the overall pitching performance. Um, but mainly from, you know, uh, Andrew Heaney, unfortunately. He, I don't know what to say. I mean, I just, uh, you know, don't be surprised if he's DFA tonight or tomorrow or something like that. Now that Kluber's back and, you know, and, and Hill, I think, you know, a corresponding move will probably be them to call up Luis Hill, who had a good game yesterday. And, um, you know, DFA Andrew Heaney, that'd be my guess as to what's going to happen. But I'll hold it off until it actually happens, but... You know, it's a very disappointing, very disappointing series, very disappointing just, you know, with the exception of Cole's brilliant masterpiece, the Yankees just did not, I mean, it was either the bats that were sleeping or the bullpen that just couldn't hold anything. So these are winnable games. They could have swept this freaking series, but they didn't. And they're all one-run games, actually. You know, they won 4-3 and they lost 4-3 and then they lost 8-7. And they have the best record in baseball in one-run games, but you know it doesn't look like it after this series. So now we've got Toronto coming in, and they've been reeling too. But like Yankees got to wake up, man. They got to wake up now if they, you know, if they're gonna keep hanging on this wild card race. Can't just rely on you know the judge, uh, the judge and Stanton show or the Garrett Cole um, locomotive. Like just be freight train, I should say. 
can't do that. I mean, we need a more balanced approach. I mean, Gleyber Torres got a nice hit today, so it was good to see. Um, so it's good to see maybe his bat come around a little bit. We need DJ's bat to continue to come around. You know, we need Gallo to kind of start hitting the ball. I mean, aside, from, aside from his home run yesterday, we need him to start hitting the ball. Okay? And and I, we just need a more balanced approach. It's nice to see Sanchez hit, but I'm hopefully that hopefully maybe he's getting hot now too. But um, we need more guys to be hot. We just need a consistent, balanced approach. And the Yankees, you know, with their missed kind of put together lineup and roster, this is what this is what we're you know we're seeing. This is what they're dealing with and what they're what they're putting forth on the field. So and, and you know until that changes, um, it's going to continue to be that way. So you know I'm sure they'll make some moves this offseason. But this was this was just an ugly series. So it's time to put it behind us. Focus on Toronto. Win that series against Toronto. And you know, set themselves up for the last twenty games of the season. That's the only thing they can really do right now. So that's it for the recap. I'll be, I sh everything's in the house now. So um, I will be back and up and running with a live live video tomorrow after the game. So and I'm looking forward to uh, talking to you guys again. So enjoy your night. Happy Labor Day weekend, and I'll see you next time.